This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to um, do a review and I'm cooking. <laughs> I'm going to cook in what I got. Um, I'm so excited about this, y'all, and I got the Ninja Foodie oven, I mean, it's fry, air fryer oven. And it, you can see, it's, I mean, it's just amazing. It's just amazing. It is probably going to be, after I learn it, it will probably be one of my go-tos in cooking. I probably won't use my oven very much um, because I'll be able to cook everything in here except a few things. Like, if I want to use a big pan, if I'm fixing a big pan of roasted vegetables or my cornbread or something like that, it's not my um, cast iron skillet. It's not going to fit in here. And so, anyway, I want to tell y'all about something I am not uh, paired up with this place or anything, but I have wanted this air fryer oven for a long time because I have the Ninja Foodie grill, I have the Ninja Foodie blender, um, pr food processor, I have the Ninja Foodie, um, just the Ninja Foodie, <laughs> and then I'm going to see, is, I think there's something else too, I don't see it though. But anyway, I wanted this, and this is really pretty expensive. It was 300 and some dollars, um, and I knew that I didn't have the money to get, um, to pay $300 for it, I mean, you know, right out, and so there's a thing online now, if you don't know about it, I'm, I'll tell you about it, called Affirm. There's three or four of them from what I can understand, but I've only used the firm. I used the firm to get my Ninja Foodie. Um, I used the firm to get my Ninja Food, I mean, my Ninja Foodie grill. And then now here's my Ninja Foodie air fryer oven. And they finance it for you. It's not very high of a finance charge. I pay 20, I pay, I'm paying $27 a month for, the, uh, for this for a year. I figure that I can afford $27 a month and I really, really wanted this. I mean, it's just, with me being disabled and it's like, I've got cornbread in the oven now, and it's really heavy, but I can, with this, I can use, you know, different things. It's got, came with two, two pans and a grill, like a grill pan, and then it's got the air fryer basket right here. You can use the, yeah, let me just get it down. You can use that to air fry things on it. I don't know if I'll ever do that. I don't want to mess this up. Oh, I really don't. But, I mean, I know I've got to because I'm going to use it. But I'm just going to have to be really picky with it and make sure that it gets clean and stuff like that. Um, but today I'm going to... I did well. I did want to show y'all that this, and as you can see, the buttons are on the handle, which with this makes it so cool. Here's the handle, and there's the buttons that make make it work. And I'm just really tickled about it. So today, what I'm going to make in this? Well, I'm going to heat up um, the stuff that I made for the Super Bowl. The vegetables that I roasted yesterday in the oven, I'm going to heat them up in here. And, um, but the one thing I'm going to make right now is some asparagus. I absolutely love asparagus and it's definitely a finger food <laughs> if you roast it or whatever. And so I'm going to fix this and I want to tell you all about the asparagus. Let me get it down so you can see. This asparagus, I get at Sam's, and it, a two-pound bag is not any more than $5. So you get all this asparagus in here, and I'm going to roast it in here in my Ninja 
um, air, I mean my ninja oven or whatever that's what I call it my ninja oven and I wanted to show y'all how you do this you know I was pretty old before I found out about roasting asparagus matter of fact I think it was sometime on YouTube because I always got canned asparagus which which I love my family wasn't very up on to asparagus but they do like it like the way that I do this but you can like I said you can get it at Sam's now a lot of times you can get it at Kroger Walmart doesn't do very much for asparagus they don't lower the price very much but Kroger will a lot of times have it for a dollar ninety nine a pound and I try to stock up on it then and I freeze it I just um, use my food oh my gosh I can't even think of the name of it now it takes all the air out of the bags or whatever and anyway I just freeze it and put it in the freezer and then when I want some I'll take it out and roast it or whatever I'm gonna do with it and it's so easy but today I want to fix this because it is Super Bowl weekend and I do want to have some finger foods and I'm really just not into fixing wings I thought about fixing um, pizza but I don't know I don't know what I'm I, I know that I'm gonna fix something tomorrow but that's for Valentine's Day so anyway let me show you what you do with your asparagus you can see when you bend this see where it broke right there that was you don't want this part this is hard and you really can't eat it so what I do is I take my asparagus I take that one piece I get out my knife and I cut the rest of the asparagus. I put all the head, little heads things up here together. And I take my asparagus and I cut it right where that other piece broke at. So I know that that's, you know, going to be okay. And you can save these, but I don't because I really don't get um, bones enough to make stock or anything like that. I guess I could make vegetable stock, but I don't do that either. So, like I said, I just get all of the... This one doesn't even have... It's broke off. Doesn't even have the head the little stalk thing up on at the top of it all right so I'll get these and I'll set them up here with this and I'm you know you're not picky picky about it but I'll just cut make sure that the bottoms are cut off and it's really easy to do it like this and then you've got your stalks of asparagus and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this asparagus up I'm going to put it in my casserole dish that goes in this Ninja um, air fryer, whatever, Ninja oven. See, I couldn't even remember what I was going to call it from there. And then I'll just lay them down in here like this. I'll put some this way, and then I'll put the like one pound this way and one pound the other way. And let me cut these up. I've showed y'all how to do it now. So let me cut these up and then I'll bring you back and show you what else I'm going to do. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I've got all of this cut up. So you can see it. I've got half going this way, half going that way. And it's really right much for this pan. And I probably should do it in the oven, but I just don't feel like it today. <laughs> I really, really don't. All right, so I'm just going to do it right here at my kitchen table where I cook at. And this Ninja um, oven, Ninja Foodie oven or whatever, you know how in an air fryer you have to shake and turn your stuff over and all that? You don't have to in, in that but I'm going, this food, this cooks your food evenly, but I'm still going to go on and probably move these around and uh, while it's cooking. So what the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put avocado oil on here. I use this Chosen's Food avocado oil. 
and it says, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it says turn up the heat when you cook or high on high ingredients you lack in flavor. Chosen Foods avocado oil can take the heat up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. I never cook something that, um, I'll, I'm gonna have to, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, I'm back. Um, my daughter wanted to talk to me, so, um, I talked to her for a few minutes. All right, now I'm gonna go on and put the avocado oil on here just drizzle some on here because I'm going to put butter on in here too. All right, now I'm just going to take the tongs, my little tongs. See my little bitty tongs? I love these things. <laughs> I don't even know where I got them, but I do so love them. They work with everything. All right, so I've got the oil worked in these pretty well. Alright, now I'm going to take some salt. Alright. I'm using kosher salt. And I just sprinkle some on here. ground black pepper I use that all right so that's all the pepper oh, come on Now let me take the tongs and move it around again. We're supposed to get um, up to six inches of snow tonight. I'm pretty excited about it. I wish my kids were here. I wish COVID wasn't going on and I could see my kids. I've held my grandson two times since he was born in July. And it is just killing me because I can't see them and I can't find the shot in my area. Everybody else, all my friends are getting their shots, but I live in a county that is not even listed to get the shot, so I don't know what I'm gonna do. Um, my doctor doesn't, you know, she doesn't know because she, the hospital that she uses is not a hospital, I mean, in which the hospital that I would go to is not the hospital for this area, and so, it's just driving me crazy. My daughter lives in an, another county, and they've already gotten their first shot. They go back February the 12th to get their second shot. And I can't, you know, I can't even get my first one. And I've got diabetes and COPD, and, I, you know, I should be, I'm on, in the class of 1B, which means that I should have been the second one that the nurses and the doctors and stuff were supposed to be the first ones that get the uh, vaccination and I'm the second one and I haven't been able to get it so but anyway I'm you know I, I love snow and let me get back to this I, I, I'll get depressed and start crying all right so I'm going to put on grated parmesan cheese and I just use great value um, grated parmesan cheese and I'm just going to sprinkle some on here and then I'm going to use the tongs and spread it around a little and then put more on here I love when I roast the asparagus and put this uh, Parmesan cheese on it I didn't think I would because y'all yeah, know I really don't like cheese so much I'm not a cheese fan certain things I love um, macaroni and cheese uh, 
I like cheese on my tacos. I can take cheese on my salads. I don't like cheese on hamburgers. I don't like cheeseburgers. All right, so let me put a little bit more on here. And then I'm gonna put this in the Ninja oven. Oh, I gotta put the butter, I forgot. I'm putting pats of butter in here too. I've got two for this side. So I've got a half a stick of butter. I've got two for this side and two for this side, if I can get it up with these tongs. All right. Let me pull this down. This is a pretty heavy casserole dish. I hope I can get it in here. Okay. Oh. All right, now you turn it on right here. And you can see, let me, whoops. I didn't even have y'all up here so you could see. Whoops. All right, I think y'all should be able to see. Just doing everything, hitting everything today. I have the days like that. I'm going to do air roast. That's the second thing. So I'm going to go over here to function and go. Well, I could have gone up. All right, air roast. And it goes 45 minutes. I mean, 20 minutes at 450. I don't think I'm gonna go that high. I'm gonna take it down to uh, 390, which is, and then over here is the start button. I'm gonna push start, and then it's got a preheat, but it only takes 90 seconds, no more than 90 seconds, supposedly. And you can see in this, it has a light on it and everything. This is well worth, it does bake, it does bagels, it does toast. You can fix anything in here. And you, most of the time your casserole dishes and stuff will fit in, in this one. And, um, but like I said, my cast iron skillet won't. Even my little one that I use for cornbread won't fit in here, so. But anyway, I'm going to let these cook, and I'll, I'm sure I'll come back and check them. I want to make sure that they are roasted good, because I like my, um, bra I mean, asparagus roasted brown, too. I, <laughs> I just like crispy stuff. But anyway, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, I want to show y'all. I put the other leftovers that I had in here from yesterday on the bottom rack of this. I'm gonna check this asparagus. I smell the cheese. Well, they're getting a little bit done. Well, they really are, but they're not getting brown. They're real soft now, and I want them brown, so let me look. I'm going to have to look and see the functions on here to see if I have. And then I have the other. I've got um, carrots, green beans, the potatoes, piece of ham down on the bottom. And it says to put it on two and four. But four's all the way up there. Maybe I should do that. Let's see. Let me take I'm going to take these out. Let me show you. They're just not getting brown. And I'm going to move this up to the fourth. And maybe that will... I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. All right. Now. Oh, my gosh. I can't get these in here. Oh. All right. <laughs> See, this is a heavy thing. And this is... Okay. All right. All right. Just burnt my finger. Now, let me take these out. Now, I'm just going to leave those right there, just like that. And now I want to go... Wait a minute. Let me stop it. 
All right, bake, dehydrate, broil. That's what I want to do. But I'm going to go in and cook them like that. Air fry now for the rest of the time. The nine, it's nine minutes, 20 seconds. And then I'll put it, yeah, y'all couldn't even see me because I, oh, it was very hard to get that casserole dish in. All right, so I'm going to go on and do these for um, nine more minutes. And then I'm going to put it on broil. I didn't even know it had a broil function on here. And because I haven't, this is the second time that I've used it. I've been so excited with it or whatever. And did, I hadn't even looked to see, but it does have a broil function on here. So I'm going to use the broil function after it finishes right here. They're real soft right now. The ones down on the bottom, I see that they're, you can tell that they're getting um, heated. But I'm sure they're not done yet. All right, so I'll bring y'all back. Okay, I'm back. All right, so I wanted to, I've got this. It got, goes on broil. I put it on broil for, and it goes high five minutes. So you can see it. I had to put it on um, rack three for that. Now these, let me show you. This turned out pretty good. Um, it, you know, it browned those. Mm -mm -mm. And I've got some carrots back here. Mm -mm -mm. I'm telling you. Roasting vegetables is really where it's at, y'all. Mm-mm-mm. All right, so I've got to, I'll heat my pinto beans and the juice up of that um, on my new wave because it has all the soup or whatever in there. This, I'm going to sit over here. The brown, um, the cornbread is ready. All right, and I'll bring y'all back in, in a few minutes. Okay, y'all. All right, here's the asparagus and you can see that the broil did real good on these oh i can't wait to eat these i've got my pinto beans cooking now on my new wave i'm going to get the um cornbread out of the oven and i will bring y'all back okay y'all i wanted to bring you back and show you before i eat or whatever the um asparagus See, I like it. See how brown that is? I like it just like that. But, I mean, for me, a little bit browner would have been better. But I've got to use this Ninja Oven more to find out about it. Oh, my gosh, it's so good. And here's my carrots from yesterday. I heated them up in it. Mm. Oh my gosh, they're so good. And here's my potatoes. Let me get one. They're falling apart now. Mm. Let's see the potato. Scott. Oh, <laughs> there it went. Mm. And over here, where's it at? There's my cornbread. cut out a piece to put my pinto beans in. They're still heating up. But I wanted to tell y'all about this cornbread or whatever. When I was growing up, my grandma would make cornbread whoa, like that. And the next day or that night, Grandma and Papa would fix them, get out a glass, put cornbread in it, and then put buttermilk in it. Now, I don't like buttermilk. I cook the cornbread in buttermilk, but I don't, I would not like to drink it. I will probably tomorrow get a cut a piece of this and get out my cup and squish it all up in my cup and put milk in it. 
I love cornbread and milk. It's so good. Your cornbread will be cold. You don't want your cornbread hot. You don't want to do this when your cornbread is hot. You want to wait until it's you've had it in the refrigerator and it's cooled off or whatever. And then your cold milk. And oh my gosh, it's so, so good. So, and I hope that y'all can understand that. That's a country thing, I guess. But it, it's just so good. If you ever... Now, we're not talking Jiffy Mix here. This is not Jiffy Mix cornbread. This is homemade cornbread. It's not sweet at all. And that's what I do. I make the whole thing of cornbread like this, and then over the next couple of days, I'll like eat a piece, cut a piece, put butter in it for lunch. Then for dinner or whatever, I'll fix, or opposite, um, vice versa, I'll put cornbread in my cup, fill it up with milk, take a spoon and eat it like that. And it's just so good. And this asparagus is getting cold, y'all. I'm gonna get out of here and I'm going to eat. This is just amazing. I love my Ninja oven. I love it, love it, love it. And don't forget that if you want something like that, when you go online and you see a firm or whatever, that, if you don't have the money to buy it right off like I did with this, they will um, let you pay monthly payments on it for a year and or six months, whichever you want. But I did this for a year because it was, you know, 300 and some dollars. So just remember that. It's called the firm, A-F-F-I-R-M. And you can get your appliances or whatever you want, really, um, from that from a firm and pay payments on it. So I'm going to get off here and eat my dinner. And I will talk to you later. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Look below for links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and to my Instagram. And also there's links below to different things that I use in my kitchen that you can purchase from Amazon or companies have sent me things to do a review on and I have a link below for most of those things where you get a discount. So I will talk to y'all later and you have a good weekend. Bye.